Hi, I'm Carl Schilling, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network, and I'm the author of the, that book that you just downloaded, The Middle Class Millionaire Plan. Now, the reason that I uh, had uh, put this work together was after 44 years of being in uh, uh, many areas in the financial services industry, it dawned on me that um, there had been a financial victimization going on for many decades. And, and I was actually part of it uh, with, uh, unwittingly, okay? And that financial victimization was the so-called uh, narrative of retirement. You know, we, uh, we, we grew up in a society that told us to get an education, get a good job, work 40 years, and then have a comfortable retirement. Then along the way, the story shifted a little when, uh, uh, you know, pensions uh, went away and then the new mantra in the 80s was that you should be saving for additional for your own retirement, okay? Not relying totally upon one leg of a stool, which was Social Security. But uh, uh, so then people started pounding money away in savings uh, for their 401ks, their IRAs, and, and all kinds of uh, what we call ERISA qualified plans. But the problem with this was that, first of all, those uh, savings are growing tax deferred, which is wonderful, but they are also stagnant. They're dead in the water. They're not doing you any good. They're not helping you double, quadruple, or really find um, the real success for financial independence, okay? The second problem was that the government is a very bad uh, partner. Um, you know, Uncle Sam is the worst partner you could have. Uncle Sam wants to determine when, how, how much you can distribute money from that retirement plan. Then they also force you into forced distributions at a certain point if you didn't want to or didn't need to take any out. And then they also get to pick and select the tax bracket, which they can change every three or four years, okay? So it's really a bad, bad uh, uh, financial victimization, and it's, it's just something that you should avoid. Now, what's the alternatives? Well, the alternatives is, uh, is to bet on yourself. The alternatives are becoming an entrepreneurial mindset, becoming a person who's going to establish and create business, along with whatever else you do right now. We're not telling you give up your job, give up your career, no, but establish business, and that business can create tax-advantaged income, that business can create uh, future capital appreciation, and an exit strategy, which allows you to have a, a great deal of liquidity and a pool of money if you decide to sell. The only reason to create a business is to sell it in the future at a capital appreciation gain substantially okay the second thing is to create your own bank that's another piece of the puzzle that we help you identify and that creates tax-free liquidity tax-free income for retirement so that's going to shift and alter all that other retirement income that's taxable at an unknown rate we're going to create uh, more income for you which is going to be tax-free and then lastly that plan also, that bank that you create for yourself, also creates generational wealth that you can pass down as your legacy for generation after generation after generation. The wealthy have been doing this a long time. The banks know about it. They themselves have uh, used this asset to, uh, to their great, great advantage. Okay? So kindly read the book. Uh, take the time to read it, and certainly I would love to have a consultation with you and understand this. A consultation is not a sales presentation. No one's here to push you, prod you, twist your arm about anything. We're here to discuss really common sense factors and strategies that can help you become financially independent, and you choose. Every step of the way you choose. We can help you divorce Uncle Sam with no taxes and no penalties and show you how to build business and a bank and create financial independence. I look to speaking to you soon. Have a great day.